Hey YouTube, so I just wanted to do a quick video for you all to tell you what to do if your nose ring gets a bump on it. Now, of course, option one is to go back to the person that pierced it and have them take a look at it or even change your jewelry. Sometimes the jewelry that they pierce with can be cheap and after about two months, it will start to irritate your nose and it's time for them to change it out. But in reality, piercings take up to two years to heal. So this is something that I've done since I got my nose pre-pierced to help with the bump. If you don't have time to go, this is what my advice is to you. Don't take the piercing jewelry out. If you take the jewelry out, then the bump may cause it to close immediately. How do I know this? I've done it before. I didn't do it this time because this was my third time getting it pierced. The first time I got my nose pierced, I really didn't have a lot of complications with it. The reason why I closed up is because I bought some jewelry from the mall that had a stopper stud on it. So it was gold plated and it had a stopper stud on it. And I used to wear it and I had to take it out for a job. I couldn't get it out one day and I was on my way to work with my child's father, you know, who's my boyfriend at the time, we didn't have a kid. But anyway, he had to pull it out for me because I couldn't get it out. Long story short, my nose thought that I had a scar and it started to heal. So I couldn't treat it as I did before. And so it closed up while I was at work that summer. Got it re-pierced again and it closed up again because I had to take it out for a new job. So now I have met a job where I can have my nose piercing and you know, have some experiences with piercings and I kind of know what to do. So what I do for my piercing, and this is just what I do. Please don't comment saying, oh, you never should do this, you never should do that. My aunt, you know, she actually had a nose piercing and she used to tell me when I first got a pierce to clean it with peroxide or alcohol. Now, people used to do stuff back in the day that we don't do now. Now we recommend the salt ocean spray or sea salt and all that. That stuff works, but let's be real. When you first get the piercing, you're excited about it. You're cleaning it every day. You're making sure you do it three times a day, the antibacterial soap. But after two, three months, you're used to the piercing. And sometimes you get busy and you forget to clean it. And so even though they tell you eight weeks, 12 weeks, those weeks are up and you get a bump on your nose. This is what you should do. If you can't go back to get it taken out and for them to clean it up for you, you should just get a cotton swab or a Q-tip. Q-tip is a little better. Pour some alcohol into a individual container. I used a shot glass in my last um, video. Use some good old alcohol or witch hazel. Witch hazel is good as well. Just take your Q-tip, put dip it in there. Don't dip it in, but you know, saturate it. Don't you know, contaminate the bottle. You're just going to wipe it around the exterior of your nose and the interior of your nose. And when you do that, that'll help with cleaning it. You can also use your antibacterial soap in the shower. Then what you want to do after you've cleaned it is use some tea tree oil. Now, it may get worse before it gets better and you may see a little red or even a little bit of bleeding within the first 24 hours or 48 hours. But that is it closing up the bump that's come around and heal. And then by the third day, it will look like this. And so just keep cleaning it until the bump is gone. And that's just my advice for what you should do when your piercing gets a bump around it and you can't go back and get it taken out. Do not remove the jewelry, y'all. Do not remove the jewelry. If you remove the jewelry, it will close up nine times out of ten, and you'll have to go back into the shop and have them put it back in. So that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. For more questions about piercings, put them down below. Bye.